Oh, hang on, excuse me. Right, that's better. Greetings, RC Model Geeks. I'm back. I'm here, Mag Collins here today. Hurrah! Yes, I'm back. <laughs> I had a back yesterday, Woods. so I wasn't back. Woods. Yes, Woods, back. Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Day three. Yes. Day three <laughs> of the DB Sport and Scale Auto Gyro build. Hmm. So, um, I thought. Uh, this morning, uh, as it's still morning here, yeah, um, we would build the tailplane, yeah, and get that out of the way. That's a quickie job to knock off mm -hmm. while we're waiting for some parts to come in. Mm -hmm. Waiting for a motor and ESC and some hinges and other bits and pieces. So, yeah, we're going to build the tailplane. There it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's all laser cut again, so uh, it's going to be fairly quick to. Uh, to put together, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, we sort of did a dry run earlier, didn't we? Yeah, just to make sure everything fits just, together. Yeah, and of course, sand all the um, the laser cutting marks off. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, basically, it slots together like that, and then you glue it. Um, for this, we'll we'll do this with um, we'll super glue this, I think. Yeah, because we can basically slot it together, and you know, and. Nobody's Run the super glue down and Bob's your uncle. Mm. And then I mean, we always back up joints with uh, wood glue if we need to anyway. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I mean that is the basics of the uh, of the tailplane there. Yeah, pretty easy to uh, to do. Pretty much like that. Hmm. And it's a matter of gluing it, Bob's your uncle. So I mean that, mm. that doesn't take long to put together, does it? No. Um, so yeah, we're going to glue that together. Um, we've got to do the. Um, there's a joiner here for the uh, two halves of the elevator. So we'll need to get that recessed into here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we'll come back to you when we've uh, when we've done that. Right. Sounds like a good idea, eh? Yep. Be right back. Be right back. We had a bit of an interruption, didn't we? Yes. Old Fix the Phil turned up on his bike. Yep, he did. Um, reminiscing about days gone by. Yeah. And pointing out my probably one and only crash in the last five years. <laughs> yeah, that might have been a bit of a get back. Yeah, 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 something like that. So, uh, yeah, we've been busy, of course, even yeah. though Fix the Phil was here helping us. Yes. <laughs> so, towel plane is all glued together uh -huh. okay and we've put in the torque rod for the elevator yeah uh, which is there um, now this didn't come normally torque rods they generally have an, an outer tube on them yeah yeah which you then sort of glue into the in into your wood mm. um, this one didn't so uh, and the torque rod was already bent yes so what we've done is we we slid some heat shrink tubing, yeah, down over the uh, the torque rod into the centre, and then um, put a groove into this bit of wood and glued that uh, heat shrink into there. So we've got a guide. Hmm. Uh, I mean, what they were expecting you to do was just have a, a groove in there and that would run in it. Hmm. But uh, you know, sods law it gets glued up and gunked up. So with just that little bit of heat shrink um, on there, it acts quite nice. Nice bearing that. Yeah. Um, works brilliantly. Oh, and it's just broken a bit off. Uh oh. Uh. <sighs> no, it's not very strong those M bits. No, I think those want to go on later. Hmm. Um, right. What else have we done? Um, well, I've, I've shaped one of the um, elevators there. Collins drilled the hole. And we've put a groove in here yep. for the torque rod. Yeah, you see that on the end there. Yeah, nice looks, looks, looks quite nice, nice there, actually. Yeah, not too bad. So we've done that one. I'm still going to do this one. Uh, it's got the groove in it, just needs uh, shaping. Mm. Uh, and the only shaping these require is just rounding the edges. There's no real serious aerofoil going on with them. No. Also done the sub uh, sub rudders or uh -huh. fins, vertical fins. Yeah, uh, that's those two. They're all glued together and shaped, mm -hmm. ready for covering. 
We've also started on the um, the, like the pylon assembly that mounts the uh, tail. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and we've also done the top part of that as well, which uh, is going to sit up there. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Hmm. And then there's a rudder that goes on the back, and that sits somewhere like that, I think. And that's going to be like, you know, yeah. So uh, yeah, we've um, we've been getting on quite nicely. Colin fell over and nearly crushed yeah. everything. Back went, leg went, and uh... there was loads of cracking noises. Luckily, the cracking noises was of the um, the scrap wood. Yeah, scrap cracking. Rather than uh, rather than the plane that was uh, sitting here. So mm. we were quite lucky on that one, weren't we, Colin? Yes, yeah, so we were. <laughs> I was very calm about it. Yeah, I'm not worried about my back, more worried about his bolster. I was, yeah. Mm. I was worried about my plane. Mm. Actually, I was more worried about the Cirrus Moth. Yeah, <laughs> and it's already been demolished, demolished by, by Phil's by big Phil's feet. Big feet, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, yeah, as you can see, we are nipping along quite nicely. Basically, just getting all the bits done uh, that we can do while we're waiting for parts to come in. Mm. Like servos, motor. Um, you know, and all that crap. Yeah. So ESC. Hmm. So yeah, well, you know, we're it's getting there. I mean, do you know what? By the end of the week, it won't be far off being finished, will it? No, that's right. So uh, yeah, that uh, it's, it's it's looking good. So we'll plod on, do a bit more, come back to you in a bit. Yeah. Right. Go. That's what I feel. I have been going. Huh. We've been recording. Yeah. Fucking come uh, back. Okay. Right. <laughs> that was a stupid laugh, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, go on, get on with it. So, okay, we've been busy. We've not been idle. We have not been idle. Colin's even put some work in. God, I just take Rob's jumper off. It was getting hot. I know, he's wearing my clothes now. Yeah, they're nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yes, well, we've done this lot so far. So their tailplane is completed and sanded now all sanded and lovely all the bits are sanded tip bits there top of that there the pylon mount that goes underneath there and the rudder hmm. they are all sanded ready uh, for assembly at some time so the next thing it is. is the force is very strong in this one this is a very strong forceful build so the next thing is the wing yeah, and here it is. Lots of sheeting, lots of uh, ribs, and stuff. Hmm. So we're going to put that together now. We are nipping along, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So um, we'll get some bits out and go come back to you in a minute. Right. And we'll uh, put a crappy bit of plastic <coughs> that I don't know where we got it from. Somebody asked, "Where did we get our plastic from?" Uh, well, it's a piece of plastic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know where we got it from. No, it's, it was from a plastic bag. Yeah, very cheap thin, cheap thin plastic bag. Yeah, that's what it was. So um, don't ask again. <laughs> Use your imagination. Yeah. If you're in the UK, go to the co-op because yeah. uh, they've got the thinnest bags ever. Yes. Uh, so thin that by the time you put your shopping in them, they split. Yeah. That's how thin they are, and they and they have the gall to charge you money for those bags. That's they do. rant for the day. Yeah. Uh, right. So we've got this uh, tape down. There you go. And we'll uh, get on with putting this together and come back to you. Right. Right, back soon. <laughs> okay, we're on. We're on. Okay. Oh, hang on, excuse me. Right, that's better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've been... Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. My yeah. fart's put you off, innit? Oh, mate. <laughs> it's rank. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, we're on. Right, let's go. <laughs> Come on, now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, oh I can... Cause... <laughs> I can oh. smell it as well. Now. That's payback. <laughs> payback in the shed. 
The smell of shame. The smell of shit in your bloody trousers, more <laughs> like. It might be. I thought I had a wedgie, but sounded not. sounded a bit wet to me. Yeah, it was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We have been working hard. We have. <laughs> so uh, one wing, pretty much seventy percent done. Uh -huh. um, yeah, there it is. And there it is. So it needs to be shaped and we've got to have the top sheeting on. Mm. But we've worked out pretty much how it goes together and we've glued it. And we had some tricky angles to overcome, didn't we? We had some tricky angles, yes. We did have some tricky angles. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is, you know, that's the, that's the hard work done. Now we know how to put one of those together, the other one will come pretty quick. You're meant to build it all in one go. Uh, you're meant to have glued in the, uh, the joiner. Um, but because there's a big angle on it, I thought it was a bit of a pain in the ass. So we've built it in the, in the two halves, and we'll join it um, together once we've made them. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's it for today, part yeah. three of the build. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, the only other thing we're trying to work out, we might as well add this in. Yeah, Go on. is um, we're debating what the angle of these uh, rotor mounts should be. Right, aren't we? Hmm. Um, whether they should be mounted at 90 degrees to the surface of the of the wing mm -hmm. or not. Mm. There's nothing in the instructions that actually say what it should be, yeah? Mm. Uh, and all we've got is this okey cokey drawing here mm. of of the um you know the the pylons. And on the aircraft. And, uh, I mean, on the aircraft, I mean, it's like it's a dodgy drawing anyway, but it looks like they're tilting in quite a lot. Yeah, it does. Um, whereas here, it's not actually drawn to 90 to mm. this. Mm. Yeah, if you, put a, if you put a 90 degree edge on it, yeah, you can see they're slightly off 90, but they're not yeah. vertical. You know, it's not vertical because no. vertical somewhere out there. I seem to lean in a little bit. But... So we're we're debating wh what it should be. Mm. Um, it looks like that's sort of been a an after sketch on the drawing anyway, so it might be drawn wrong because there are a few other errors. So we're going to go for 90 degrees to the actual rib. Yeah. And see what happens, okay. unless unless somebody's built one of these and knows any better. If you have, leave a comment below. Yeah, like Angel maybe. Yeah. Um, yes, so there you go. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Colin won't um, be. No, I'm. So not. I'll probably get this finished tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, well, Rob will keep up the standard of video, I'm sure, guys. Yes, I'll have a wobbly video yeah. tomorrow. I'll have a wobbly video. And then I can have a watch a bit after I've been Done doing stuff. stuff, yes. Cool. Uh, don't forget. Like those. and subscribe, keep pictures coming yes. in. When Colin finally gets some printer ink, we can print some more out. Yeah. Um, and jammy dodgers and biscuits and stuff. Yeah. And if you want to send us another kit, yeah, because uh, you know, keep yeah. building. Yeah, have a look up in your attics, and if you guys have got any old kits there from the 70s or the 80s, then um, yeah, real, real kits. Yeah, real kits. None of this foam stuff. No, no foam mm -hmm. stuff. No, I don't want that. Real wood. Real wood. <laughs> when was the last time you had real wood then, Porter? Um, yeah, that long ago. Uh, 19... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, That's what your wife says. Uh, well, yeah, well, it was a century. <laughs> it was the last century, I believe. <laughs> right, that's it. Right. We're going. See you tomorrow yeah. Cheers, for uh, Rob Cam. Yes, Rob Cam. Rob Cam tomorrow. Yes. And dodgy shaking. And some more, some more building. Yeah, all right. Back tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye.